Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, uh, New GOT at 50, and I, oh uh, man, I know right now, I think it's already, what, 8, 9 in the fucking morning, but, uh, I had, like, a crazy-ass night, but the main point of this video is, uh, well, yeah, one of the reasons why it was a fucking long night, but I went to go watch the Underworld Awakening, the midnight showing, but then after that, I went to go, uh, I still, I kicked back with my friends, and, eh, uh, how they had a good little drinking and stuff but eh like I said I don't drink but I kicked back and it was fucking funny and shit but damn we it's not like oh I wanted to go home or I could fucking just go home but now nah, because I, I was with them you know like they picked me up so it's one of those things like uh, I didn't want to bother them telling hey let's go home already you know but um but yeah uh, I was a designated driver so hey that's what's cool you know I helped them out because I don't want my fucking friends to get in trouble so I backed them up on that but anyways yeah I went to go watch out uh Underworld Awakening. All I have to say, anyone that wants to go see it, 2D, 3D, eh, whatever, anybody's choice. But yeah, I kind of a little bit prefer more of the, the 3D, you know. But I have to say that some of the 3D was like badass. But a lot of the stuff was popping out and stuff like the smoke. Well, again, this might be a spoiler. So if people didn't go see it yet, hey, I'm sorry. Or don't, or just stop watching the video and, you know, exit out. Or again, or I don't know, but again if people because but I don't want to go more but I just gotta say it this was a pretty badass movie and again it's just one of those things just the one little thing I just didn't understand about the movie oh well when I did talk about this movie in my past videos about my reaction to the trailer when it first came out the trade not the first trailer but yeah like the newest trailers that were coming out I made a video about it and I predicted that because I was just going by the trailers and I'm just saying oh that little girl you know it's her daughter. It's Celine, it's Celine's and Michael's daughter. And and what did ha what happened? It's it's the it's her fucking daughter, the hybrid, or it's her daughter and shit. Even though they were kind of making it seem like it was somebody else's or another lady's, but that's again I don't want to go more into the movie because I know I know a lot of people haven't seen it, seen it yet, you know, or too much spoilers here. But some of the actors are badass that they use in Dove. You got Kate Beckinsale back as Celine, you know, and then Dove. But the only person that they didn't bring back for the part of Michael was some different actor that I don't even know who the fuck it was. He he came out, but it's just one of those things like they just used him as like, you know, that type of angle of the camera. And then a little bit right here, the facial, but the hair in the face. And yeah, he turns into, you know, the hybrid, but just a few seconds and boom, that's it. Done. And But the only thing they did use... Again, if this is a spoiler or whatever, but I'm not going more into the deal. It's just a, maybe stuff that they already showed on the trailers, but they show the actor's fate, uh, his face, I mean, my bad, uh, of the real Michael, the, the actor that plays Michael, you know, but this guy, it was just, it was a different actor, but it's cool because, again, they're trying to do the story or whatever the hell, but this fucking movie was pretty badass, and the 3D, shit, pretty cool, but there was one fucking scene and maybe when that per whoever goes see sees it a done in 3D, hopefully I don't know if you're gonna get. I didn't get scared, but it was just one of those things out of nowhere. It was like some fucking piece of the fucking glass that explodes, and I even got like, whoa, shit, that fucking shit fucking looked like it was gonna hit me and shit for for reals. But other than that, everything was badass and But again, it was a cool fucking movie. But again, anyone, I don't know. It's just one of those things like it was a cool fucking movie, man. A lot of fucking action. It was never. There was never that part, that type of movie where it's just like, oh, it gets, it stops, you know, for a good long while and then finally, no, no, no. It might stop for a little few seconds of the movie and, but boom, action and action and action, you know, it go, it keeps picking up. So that's what I liked about the movie and the other, the other special fucking effects and shit. So, yeah. But yeah, the thing with Michael, that just kind of tripped me out. That's all I got to say. Like the Michael character, the actor that plays Michael or his part of the story was just kind of weird or... That just looks like, let's just say, a spin-off. <laughs> that's, uh, that's all I'm going to say, like, or where the hell was he at? They show him, but he escapes or something. That's all I'm going to say towards the end, and boom, the movie's, you know, it's just one of those things. But again, I don't want to say more stuff, but I don't know. I just got to say, though, it, it, the acting was good, and a lot of the actors and, you know, the characters and the likings, they look fucking more scary than before, you know, or... They, they were using and then that big ass hulk like fucking uh lichen like oh shit but again you gotta see because again i don't want to go more detail but let's just say it, it is a human you know it is a person it's not like oh it's just some big ass fucking werewolf that just stays no it's a it's a character i'm just gonna say that but no this was a good fucking movie and it's worth it 
paid the 12 bucks but for the fucking you know the three for that's how much they charge over here in texas or where i'm from 12 dollars so i know other people they have different prices but over here they charge 12 bucks but and though again it's rated r so <laughs> but yeah but yeah this is one of those ones i can't wait again when the time comes when they fucking finally do the whole you know when it comes on blu-ray or 3d whatever the hell for sure i'm gonna fucking buy it because i really liked it so whoever gets a chance, go fucking watch this movie. This is fucking badass. You're not going to be disappointed. If you are, I don't know, maybe something's wrong with you or you just didn't, well, I don't know, feel it, but, or you didn't like it, but I did. So, I don't know, give this movie a chance. So, if I had a score to like a 1 to 10, I'd give it a fucking uh, 8.5. Let's just say that, 8.5. <laughs> maybe cause, just because of the whole Michael thing, because it's not him, the actor, or whatever, or they used them as a weird type of storyline but I get, but I got it but I was right about the girl so again everybody has to know anyway you didn't have to see the, uh, just by the trailers you already know it oh it's the daughter yeah it was even though some people on that video that I made were telling me oh you don't know what you're talking about it wasn't her daughter uh, yeah it was and I was just it was just coming out of my head my mind predicting and hey I was right so that's was pretty tripped out so I don't know oh and then maybe not, not another update but yeah a gaming update Resident Evil 6 I mean Resident Evil 6 I'm like oh shit <laughs> so I'll get ready for that that comes out in uh, November yeah November the 20th of 2012 so get ready for that so uh, uh, finding another Resident Evil and then oh yeah the Resident Evil uh, Retribution even though they're using the Tron legacy music for the trailer but it goes with it <laughs> But that now this movie for being 3D or this new Resident Evil movie, this one looks like it has more action just by the fucking trailer, you know. So hopefully this one. I'm not saying oh the last one was disappointing. No, it was fucking badass too. But this one looks like holy shit. They're like they're getting a lot of stuff to it. But again, this video is about the underworld awakening. The you know I went to go see the Midnight Want Watch. What I thought about it. It's fucking badass. You know everybody should go see it and give it a chance. You know and it's action. It's a popcorn movie. Badass. And again, another story another one later on that's all i'm gonna say just watch it you know towards the end but anyways uh just a short video and i'm fucking tired i haven't even got no sleep yet and it's morning right now i know it's late with this video and again when i post it up it's gonna be uploaded till 12 o'clock or 11 in the morning or you guys time or 12 in the afternoon but over here it's fucking morning but i don't know i'm fucking tired and i just wanted to bring this video and just yeah, talk about this so i'll catch everybody and hey comment if anyone did see the movie, what you guys think, or girls, you know, what you guys thought about the movie. I really liked it. Or I'll answer some of your questions and stuff, and like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and catch you in the next video. Peace, everybody.